Hello, and thank you for taking the time to watch the 2022 Governor's State Employee Medal of Valor Award Ceremony. My name is Amy Tong, Secretary of the Government Operations Agency. I am very pleased to introduce Tokes Omisakin, Secretary, Transportation Agency, to read the citations for their state employees whose heroic acts and service are worthy of our celebration. Thank you. Hello, I'm Tokes Omashakin, Secretary of the California State Transportation Agency. I'm very proud to be a part of this ceremony as we honor our state heroes. I'm pleased to present the citation for the heroic actions for our agency employees. Each Medal of Valor Award recipient went above and beyond the call of duty to save the lives of others. And though all were very aware of the dangers, they did not hesitate to act. Let me begin with our first citation. Citation for a heroic act performed by Verna Mundell, officer of the California Highway Patrol. On March 26, 2020, at 8 p.m., California Highway Patrol officer Verna Mundell was conducting a commercial vehicle strike force detail at the Interstate 80 eastbound Antelope Platform Scale Facility. While monitoring commercial traffic from inside the facility, Officer Mundell heard a loud boom. Officer Mundell discovered a crash between a pickup truck and a tractor trailer combination 500 feet from the facility. She saw the pickup driver's door was open, smoke was filling the cabin, and a man was slumped over in a front passenger seat. As the fire intensified, the flames began to enter the vehicle near the driver's side door. Officer Mundell noticed the passenger window was either broken or missing as she approached the vehicle. She leaned completely into the vehicle and attempted to pull the unconscious passenger out, fearing she had no time left nor the ability to check what may be ensnaring his legs. Officer Mundell made one last attempt to remove the passenger. She grabbed the passenger's pants around the rear left waistband with her left hand and with her right hand grabbed his right shoulder while bracing her left hip against the pickup truck. Officer Mundell successfully pulled the passenger out of the vehicle through the window and dragged him 75 feet from the burning pickup truck. Officer Mundell stayed by the victim's side until paramedics arrived. With no regard for her own safety, Officer Mundell went above and beyond the call of duty. The state of California takes great pride in presenting the Gold Medal of Valor to California Highway Patrol Officer Verna Mundell. Citation for a heroic act performed by Patrick Barossa, Officer of the California Highway Patrol. On February 20th of 2021, at 2.51 a.m., California Highway Patrol Officer Patrick Barossa and three other officers were in a high-speed pursuit of a vehicle traveling southbound on Interstate 5. The vehicle had two flat tires as a result of a successful spike strip deployment. However, the driver continued to evade the pursuing officers at speeds up to 100 miles per hour. The driver lost control of the vehicle, drove off the roadway's edge, and overturned multiple times down a steep embankment covered with a thick brush. As the vehicle came to rest on its right side, approximately 150 feet down the embankment, it immediately ignited. Oceanside Area Officer Gabriel Blanco and Officer Dalen Smedley arrived on the scene. Officers Barasa, Officer Blanco, and two more officers navigated down the thick brush embankment and located the driver trapped inside the vehicle. Hearing the driver screaming for help, Officer Barasa unsuccessfully attempted to break the windshield. Officer Barasa then climbed onto the left side of the burning vehicle with help from a fellow officer, opened the driver's side door and cut away the side airbag. Officer Barasa reached inside and pulled the driver out of the vehicle. Officer Barasa and Officer Blanco removed the driver from the burning vehicle and rendered first aid. Within minutes, the vehicle became completely engulfed in the flames. The driver was transported to a nearby hospital and sustained major injuries. With no regard for his own safety, Officer Barasa went above and beyond the call of duty. 
The state of California takes great pride in presenting the Gold Medal of Valor to California Highway Patrol Officer Patrick Barasa. Citation for heroic act performed by Lieutenant Mike Berry, Sergeant Jeff Edgerton, Officer Jeff Hatcher, Officer Eric Porman, Officer Steve Wyand, and Officer Eric Mallory of the California Highway Patrol. At 6.43 a.m. on August 27, 2020, a private civilian airplane departing Benton Airport crashed just after takeoff. From its office window, just moments before Sergeant Jeff Edgerton had noticed that the private airplane was attempting to take off at an unusual altitude. It was immediately apparent to him this was not consistent with sustained flight. He shouted out to his colleagues that a plane was about to crash and multiple employees exited the office towards the runway. The airplane departed the runway complex and crashed into a steep brush-filled ravine just north of Placer Street. Officer Jeff Hatcher, Officer Eric Porman, and Officer Eric Mallory arrived within 30 seconds of the crash. They were joined by Lieutenant Mike Berry. Officer Hatcher, Lieutenant Berry, Officer Porman, and Officer Mallory proceeded down the steep embankment to the burning crash site and found the first victim on the ground, 10 feet from the burning fuselage. While circling the aircraft, they came upon a second victim who had been thrown approximately 20 feet from the aircraft. He was actively on fire. Officer Porman used a patrol vehicle fire extinguisher on and around the second victim. Once the fire was mostly out near the second victim, Officer Hatcher, Lieutenant Berry, and Officer Mallory picked them up and moved them away from the fully engulfed fuselage. After pulling the second victim to safety, Officer Hatcher went back towards the engulfed wreckage to assist the first victim and look for any others in need of aid. Officer Porman and Officer Steve Wyand successfully kept the fire from engulfing the first victim, who was able to crawl five more feet from the intense heat of the wreckage. Officer Hatcher, Sergeant Edgerton, and Officer Porman worked together to pull the first victim even further away from the burning aircraft vegetation. In all, Officer Wyand depleted six fire extinguishers to prevent the fire from reaching the victims and CHP personnel. CHP personnel carried the injured victims up the steep embankment to awaiting ambulances. Tragically, the two remaining occupants of the aircraft remained trapped inside and they perished. With no regard for their own safety, these officers went above and beyond the call of duty. The state of California takes great pride in presenting these gold medals of valor to California Highway Patrol Lieutenant Mike Berry, Sergeant Jeff Edgerton, Officer Jeff Hatcher, Officer Eric Porman, Officer Eric Mallory, and Officer Steve Wyand. Citation for a heroic act performed by Officer John Gallimore and Officer Wesley Barnes of the California Highway Patrol. At 3.42 a.m. on June 26, 2020, Officer John Gallimore and Officer Wesley Barnes attempted to perform a traffic enforcement stop on a vehicle traveling 86 miles per hour in a 65 mile per hour speed zone. The vehicle failed to yield to the officer's lights and siren, and a high speed pursuit reached speeds of 105 miles per hour on a relatively trafficless freeway. After veering off the roadway, the vehicle crashed into a large tree, rolled over, and erupted into flames. Officer Gallimore and Officer Barnes responded to the occupants' cries for help, with Officer Gallimore breaking the driver's side window and the officers removing two of the occupants from the flaming vehicle. The two occupants confirmed a third passenger was still in the vehicle. Officer Barnes instantly climbed headfirst into a smoke-filled vehicle. Officer Barnes located an unconscious passenger whose legs were pinned due to the crash. He used a pocket knife to cut the passenger's restraint, pulling on his torso and arms. The passenger's sweatshirt slipped off, causing Officer Barnes to lose his grip as he was overwhelmed by the smoke. Switching places, 
Officer Gallimore then entered the vehicle headfirst and grabbed onto the passenger's arms. He continued to pull onto the passenger's legs were freed from the wreckage. Officer Gallimore felt the passenger slip, calling for Officer Barnes to help. Together, both officers lifted the passenger from the vehicle before the flames entered the passenger compartment. They brought the unconscious passenger about 25 feet away from the vehicle, just as the vehicle was overtaken by flames. With no regard for their own safety, Officer Gallimore and Officer Wesley Barnes went above and beyond the call of duty. The state of California takes great pride in presenting these gold medals of valor to California Highway Patrol Officer John Gallimore and Officer Wesley Barnes. The next award goes to an individual from the Department of Transportation, Caltrans, for their heroic efforts. Citation for a heroic service performed by Ryan Aguirre, Caltrans Highway Maintenance Worker, California Department of Transportation. On Sunday, November 8, 2020, around 3 p.m., Caltrans Highway Maintenance Worker Ryan Aguirre and his coworker Stephen Garcia were responding to a hard closure on State Route 38 for downed power lines. Mr. Aguirre and Mr. Garcia established the hard closure with signs and traffic cones and parked roughly 50 feet behind the closure to repair snow tire chains on their vehicle. As Mr. Garcia was under the vehicle adjusting the tire chains, Mr. Aguirre stood above his coworker as a lookout for out of control vehicles. After several minutes, an errant vehicle speeding out of control in the snow crashed through the signs, the barricades, traffic cones, and passed a California Highway Patrol vehicle parked across the roadway with its emergency lights activated. The vehicle crashed into the rear of the pickup that the two employees were working on. Due to his keen awareness, Mr. Aguirre had observed the errant vehicle speeding directly towards where they were parked. Without hesitation, Mr. Aguirre instinctively pulled Mr. Garcia out from under the truck and away from imminent danger. Mr. Aguirre's quick action prevented Mr. Garcia from being struck while laying on the ground under the truck. Mr. Aguirre placed himself in the direct path of the oncoming vehicle, and without his attentiveness and action, his coworker could have been seriously injured or possibly even killed. With no regard for his own safety, Mr. Aguirre went above and beyond the call of duty. The state of California takes great pride in presenting the Silver Medal of Valor to the Department of Transportation Highway Maintenance Worker, Ryan A. Aguirre. Citation for a heroic service performed by James R. Burkhouse, Caltrans Equipment Operator 2, California Department of Transportation. On Thursday, April 2nd, 2020, at 6.45 a.m., off-duty and on his way to work, Caltrans Equipment Operator 2, James Burkhouse, came upon a major two-vehicle head-on traffic collision. A small passenger vehicle and a fully loaded tractor trailer had collided on State Route 18 in the rural town of Lucerne Valley. As the first to arrive and leveraging his previous experience as a paid call firefighter, Mr. Burkhouse instinctively and without hesitation went to work immediately assessing and triaging the involved victims. Mr. Burkhouse first came up on a small passenger vehicle with massive front end and side end damage. The vehicle also had major intrusions into the driver's side of the vehicle, pushing the firewall of the vehicle and the steering wheel into the driver. Upon completing a trauma assessment, Mr. Burkhouse determined that the driver was struggling to breathe and had massive hemorrhaging and a compound long bone fracture and many other life-threatening injuries. An off-duty Mercy Ear helicopter paramedic arrived with medical equipment and Mr. Burkhouse assisted the off-duty paramedic and applied several tourniquets on the driver, helped the driver's neck into a neutral position and used a bag valve mask to breathe for the driver. It took San Bernardino County firefighters roughly an hour and a half to remove the driver from the wreckage. The driver was airlifted to a local area trauma center where he remained in a coma for several months following many emergency surgeries. 
The victim has since made a miraculous recovery. The driver happened to be James Burkhouse's fellow state employee and lead worker. He survived this life-changing crash because of the quick and decisive action that Mr. Burkhouse chose to employ that morning at the crash scene. With no regard for his own safety, Mr. Burkhouse went above and beyond the call of duty. The state of California takes great pride in presenting the Silver Medal of Valor to Department of Transportation Equipment Operator 2, James R. Burkhouse. Citation for Heroic Service performed by Matthew Pina, Caltrans Highway Maintenance Lead Worker, California Department of Transportation. On January 12, 2021, Caltrans Highway Maintenance Lead Worker, Matthew Pina, was on shift as a San Francisco Oakland Bay Bridge Emergency Service tow truck operator. At approximately 6 p.m., Mr. Pina responded to an abandoned vehicle parked on the eastern span of the bridge. It was located adjacent to heavy evening commute traffic in dark and foggy conditions. Mr. Pina found the vehicle abandoned and looked for the driver. Intercepting a radio call regarding a pedestrian walking on the bridge nearby, Mr. Pina continued driving to locate the pedestrian. He found the pedestrian on the outer railing of the bridge. Mr. Pina used his tow truck as a shield and protective barrier to traffic and contacted the distressed young man who appeared to be contemplating suicide. The young man told Mr. Pina that nobody loved him and he did not want to live. Mr. Pina spoke compassionately and in a calm manner to the young man. During their dialogue, Mr. Pina encouraged him to live and was able to safely guide the young man to climb back over the railing. He continued the heartfelt, compassionate dialogue with the young man until the California Highway Patrol arrived on the scene. It's because of Mr. Pina's action that this young man is still alive today. With no regard for his own safety, Mr. Pina went above and beyond the call of duty. The state of California takes great pride in presenting the Silver Medal of Valor to Department of Transportation Highway Maintenance Lead Worker, Matthew Pina. Citation for a heroic service performed by Travis Sutton, Caltrans Equipment Operator 2, California Department of Transportation. On March 10th, 2021, Caltrans Equipment Operator 2, Travis Sutton of District 2, Polga Maintenance, was conducting snow removal operations on State Route 70 in Butte County, near the Shady Rest area. A little after 7 a.m., he noticed snow tracks leading from the roadway towards the Feather River. Though as he slowed, he did not see a vehicle, he immediately turned around and pulled over in a safe spot to inspect the area. When Mr. Sutton looked over the riverbank, he saw a vehicle in the river. Mr. Sutton immediately contacted dispatch to give a location of the vehicle. While doing so, a young woman appeared from the rocks in the river near the vehicle saying, please help me. As Mr. Sutton made his way to the young woman, he noticed the rocks were too big and slippery for her to climb up. Mr. Sutton then offered to pull her up onto the large rocks and she agreed. Mr. Sutton laid on his stomach, grabbed her hands and pulled her up. Once they got up to the roadway, Mr. Sutton gave the cold young woman a sweatshirt and a rain jacket. Mr. Sutton noticed that she was bleeding from her head and that her lips were turning purple. Mr. Sutton directed her to warm up in the plow truck while he deployed road flares. California Highway Patrol and area EMS arrived at the scene and transported the young woman to the hospital. Mr. Sutton's attentiveness, selflessness, and willingness to go above and beyond to assist the young woman reflect greatly upon him, his crew, and his department. With no regard for his own safety, Mr. Sutton went above and beyond the call of duty. The state of California takes great pride in presenting the Silver Medal of Valor to Department of Transportation Equipment Operator 2, Travis Sutton. Thank you, Medal of Valor Award recipients, for all that you've done for the people of California. Your incredible efforts have made an impactful, life-changing difference to so many. Thank you.